いらっしゃいませ。Welcome back to n a f i c a t We're so glad that you can join us today. While somebody is having a nice treat, I want to talk to you about a really cool kitty. Well, you guys. My kitty Sheba, she was a full blood Siamese and she was so awesome. She was very, very intelligent. But when I talk about this kitty, you're gonna really wonder. So, there was a Siamese kitty called FDC Willard. That is the pin name for a kitty named Chester, who belonged to a man named Jack H. Hetherington, and this kitty was published in professional scientific journals of physics. Wow! Who would ever know that a kitty can do physics? Wow, we! And understand those complicated topics. <laughs> well, as smart as my kitty Sheba was, I think he would take the cake. Hetherington, he wanted to publish his research in the scientific journal that's called Physical Review Letters, but it would not accept anything with only one author. So he gave Chester a pen name. Yes, and Chester. Ended up being a kitty co author. Yes! So it was accepted in that journal after he did so in November of 1975. And finally, he ended up revealing that his kitty was a co author at the 15th International Conference on Low Temperature Physics in 1978. And that is when Chester became famous. He had already published a couple of other articles. That had Chester with, remember, F.D.C. Willard as the co author. Yes, and even references later on as well. We know that our kitties are very smart. But do you guys know that at the University of Michigan, where Jack H. Hetherington had taught, so the kitty was offered a position to become a professor. I think they just didn't quite understand that this was a beautiful Siamese kitty. He became known all over the world because of that. Well, that must have been one smart kitty, yeah. <laughs> Between 1975 and 1980, Is when all of those papers were written by the Siamese and the daddy. <laughs> Jack H. Hetherington, I think, was a pretty cool dude. And I think that was really smart. Well, as you guys know, Siamese are known for their intelligence. My kitty was so smart that he could open doors. She would paw and make every effort to open the door to our house. And there were occasions where I found her out, my Sheba, out in the field chasing the miniature horses that I used to take care of down their own field. She was one smart kitty. But I think that FDC Willard, the Chester the Cat, takes the cake. <laughs> well, thank you all so much. This was an exciting video to make. Who would know that a kitty could be offered a professorship? I think that's really exciting. If you like the content of our videos, don't forget to take those paws and paw the like button. You can paw the subscription button and you can paw the notification bell so that you can see all of Nuffy Cat's videos. Thank you all so very much, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.